Hey guys, welcome to vtshacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to find the square roots of algebraic expression under the method of undetermined coefficients. So here we have an expression say x power 4 plus 6x cube plus 17x square plus 24x plus 16. So here we observe that the powers of x are different in each and every term. So we call this expression as non-homogeneous expression and here by using the method of undetermined coefficients we can find the solutions of such expressions and now here let us solve few examples over here so here we have the first example x square minus 2x minus 15 into x square minus 5x minus 24 into x square minus 13x plus 40 so here we have the product of three expressions. Now let us solve this expression under the method of undetermined coefficients. Now let us factorize the first expression over here. And now let us multiply the coefficient of x square and the constant term. So here by multiplying we get 1 into minus 15 which is minus 15. So here the factors of minus 15 are 1 into minus 15 minus 1 into 15 3 into minus 5, minus 3 into 5 and so on. So here by adding any one of these factors we have to get the coefficient of x which is minus 2 here. So here if we add 3 and minus 5 we get here 3 minus 5 which is equal to 2 and this is the coefficient of x. So here we can write this expression as x square plus 3x minus 5x minus 15. And similarly, let us factorize this second expression here. And here by multiplying the quotient of x square and constant term, we get here as minus 24. So here, the factors of minus 24 are 1 into minus 24, minus 1 into 24, 2 into minus 12, minus 2 into 12, 3 into minus 8, minus 3 into 8 so on. So here if we add 3 and minus 8 we get the result as minus 5 which is the coefficient of x. So here we can write this as x square plus 3x minus 8x minus 24. Now let us factorize the last expression. So here by multiplying the coefficient of x square and the constant term we get here 1 into 40 which is equal to 40. So here the factors of 40 are 1 into 40 and 2 into 20, 4 into 10, 5 into 8, so on. And here if we add minus 5 and minus 8, we get the result as minus 13 which is the coefficient of x. So here we can write this expression as x square minus 5x minus 8x plus 40. So here in the next step, so here in these two terms we can take x as common and we can write this as x into x plus 3 and here from the next two terms we can take minus 5 as a common factor and we can write this as minus 5 into x plus 3. And here by taking x as common from these two terms we get here x into x plus 3 and here by taking minus 8 as common factor we can write this as minus 8 into x plus 3. And coming over to here by taking x as common we can write this as x minus 5 and here by taking minus 8 as common we can write this as minus 8 into x minus 5. So here again by taking x plus 3 as common we get here x plus 3 into x minus 5 into and again here by taking x plus 3 as common we can write this as x plus 3 into x minus 8 and here by taking x minus 5 as a common factor we can write this as x minus 5 into x minus 8 so here by multiplying x plus 3 into x plus 3 we can write this as x plus 3 whole square and on multiplying x minus 5 into x minus 5 here we can write this as x minus 5 whole square and again here multiplying x minus 8 and 
x minus 8 we can write this as x minus 8 whole square so here the square root of the given expression would be x plus 3 into x minus 5 into x minus 8 so this was the basic introduction on how to find the square roots of an algebraic expression under the method of undetermined coefficients hope you understood the concept do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com thanks for watching have a nice day